Alright guys, well, I just got done with that steam, uh, that steam uh, boiler call, <clears throat> which turned out to be automatic feed was bad. It was just a routine heat check, but I uh, had to swap that out, found that to be faulty and stuck open. Um, I had to split up with my uh, co-worker, it's like I mentioned in another video. It's uh, it's Monday, this October 6, 2014, and, and last night it got down to 36 degrees. Some people are putting the heat on for the very first time. Uh, and the next call is no heat for the upstairs zone. There must be two zones. I've been to this house a few times, but just can't remember it until I get there. But uh, a zone in the attic. Put upstairs in his own downstairs for the first floor. So, Let's see what's going on. If I can record, I'll take you guys along. Well, I can't really record. Um, the homeowner is just sitting down there with me with the lawn chair. Basically, he has two zones <clears throat> one, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, but they're both located in the basement. They're 90 percenters. Uh, RUDs. Um, the one that's currently not working is the upstairs unit. Uh, there's a call. I have proper voltage coming in and uh, no fan inducer. Uh, check the voltage. I'm not getting any voltage from the control board. Um, and then looking closer at the board, which I'll show you if and when I'm done, that it's all green and corroded and pretty messed up. So. These units are only said about eight years old, but stuff happens. I guess at one time this past summer or the one before, he had a condensate clog um, issue with the air conditioning, and he said it dripped down and got things wet. So that's what happens over time. Let's see if I got this. It is spark ignition. Which that is not. Oh. Let me go through my boards and see if I got it. Well, I looked under all my bins and I didn't have it, but I have some extra stuff up top. And look what I found Rudd, Ream, new board, old box, spark ignition. 6224040, Zast 02. That's it. That's the ticket. Now let's go see if she works. So I wasn't getting power up to this Molex. Should get 120. Um, actually, I can show you. It's still all connected. Get two blinks on the dummy light, and you can see up close all that. So I have the replacement, just waiting for approval. And let's see what two blinks might be. Two blinks, PS circuit, open, go to point F. Well, wow. I don't need to do all that. Because I, I know that's the issue. Oh, guys, she's back up and running. It was the board. I'll show you outside in a little bit of light, but... That's the second floor. I'm checking out the first floor now. The gentleman wanted me to check out his uh, humidifiers. I went to go put it on. And can you guys tell me what you see that is wrong with this? Both of them? 
a good thing I caught it. Water's on. Notice that works. They didn't run the drains. So I don't know who in the world would do that or if it just wasn't never installed from day one. It's a little strange. But I'm just doing a little check of the second floor, or first floor, I'm sorry. And uh, that board and everything else is a lot better condition than this one. This one, <clears throat> due to very dirty filters, another service tech from my company was out here. And the condensate, um, sorry, the, the coil froze due to lack of airflow from air filter being filthy packed. And uh, it flooded out this chamber and stuff and got things wet. And, that's what happened. I apologize about that being cut off downstairs, but every time he was coming back down, I had to shut it off. He didn't want me here. He was, had a lot of questions, so I wasn't going to record with him sitting there, but there's another view of no actual burn marks in the back, but that was causing the inducer not to get 120. And everything else checked out fine. So that's it for now. On to the next one. I'm just glad I had that on this truck. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Check you guys later.